Hi, I'm Jeff from Ebbs, and I'm still tying down this canoe to this vehicle. We've done a pressic knot to the handle of the canoe, and now we'll do a, a trucker's hitch to create a loop in the rope that I can really tighten the canoe down to. So, I like to do this really fast, but I'll try to do this slow for you. First of all, do a twist in the rope. And then I'll do another twist in the rope. That second twist makes it easy to undo the trucker's hitch in the end. Then I'm gonna take the free end of the rope and pull a loop through that twisted loop I've created. Back it up again, twist my rope, give it another twist, pull the loop through from the free end of the rope, and voila, I've created my trucker's hitch. Cool thing about the trucker's hitch, I can make this long or short as I want, and then once I'm done, it disappears. This is me doing it fast now. When you've done it a lot, lots of times, it gets really fast. So after I've done the trucker's hitch, I'm going to take the free end of the rope, go through my anchor point on the vehicle, and back up to the loop on the trucker's hitch. I'm going to tighten it down. If I've created it too long, shorten it. If I want to take up more slack in the rope, lengthen it, whatever. The beauty of the trucker's hitch. Once I've got it to where I want, I'm going to tie off a couple of half hitches. And the half hitches I do, just holding on to a loop of rope, take the other end of the rope, go around both ropes to make it easy to untie later on, and then tighten it up right through that loop in the trucker's hitch. Don't tighten it up further down because the rope's just going to slip up to the tr trucker's hitch in the end anyways and your rope won't be uh, tight in the end. So for security, do a couple more or do it with a loop to take up the slack faster. Tighten that last knot so it won't slip away while you're driving. And there you've secured one end of the V on your canoe at the front. Just repeat on the other side and you've got a bomber a front end tie down on your uh, canoe to your vehicle. Your canoe should not slide around nearly as much as if you didn't or you used a bungee cord. Never do that. That's it. Hope this helps.